So we are at Siustani near Lake Titicaca in Peru, and we have two styles of chulpas, which are these ancient structures. We have a relatively rough one here, and then above it, one that is much, much finer. Standard academics say that the poorly made ones were made first, and then the fine ones were made later by the Inca. But now we know it's the opposite. That the big ones were made first. You see how it tapers as it goes up. And then when the local native people moved into this area, they tried to copy them. And so they made these smaller ones. And they used them for burying people. But the original function was more likely something to do with acoustics. Okay, as I was explaining to the people, this is a chulpa tower. Badly damaged, the western side is what you're looking at. It's like the, the eastern side was where a massive impact happened and blew the western wall out, because we see that at every one of these chulpa towers. The core material is andesite stone. You bang two of those together and it rings like a bell. Then you had a clay insulator over top of that, and then basalt forming the outer shell. And notice the way that it tapers, or that it's wider at the top than it is at the bottom. So that could very well have to do with acoustic properties. Then there was the massive destruction, then much, much later, local native people move in and they use it as a funeral tower, which is a logical thing to do with a large cavernous space like this. Overgrown eardrums. So this is a different side. This is the intact side. There's the opening. There are some people in making ohm sounds, which we can hear outside here, so therefore, obviously that sound is being amplified. And then this lets you look at an intact section of it. You notice the band that's up on top, and at the very top, the stones curve in towards the center. So this could have been a very large acoustic slash vibratory device. Can you hear it from outside? Yeah. Give me a bright insight. You're busted. <laughs> Somebody wrecked the inside of that place. So what's it? What's the sound like inside? Pretty incredible, but I would be curious to know what it sounded like before. They put all that mortar and broken rock in there. Clearly, mm -hmm. that's not what it was supposed to look like. Yeah. I was surprised to see that it's double layered with the uh, megalithic stone. Uh -huh. Didn't You don't realize that until you walk in there. Well, unfortunately, they've been doing repair work here for the last 20 years, so all those gaps, that's modern rep repair work. How tall is this? Uh, I'd say about 35 feet. Wild. Yeah, somebody did their dirty work on this thing. I wonder if these lines are vertical, you know, straight up and down. So again, here's the main tower. You can see the debris field all the western side blown out. In some cases, more than a hundred plus feet. So that would be a very, very huge force. And then what's left of three other ones that would have been intact. Uh, some have been repaired. <coughs> Excuse me. And then after this, we're going to see these two. One on the left has been repaired in recent years. So we are still at Silustani, and this is one of the towers that was put back together about five years ago. Originally, it too had damage on the western side. 
That's what we see in all of them. And some have knobs. Or nubs, as some people like to call them. This one here. And some over here. So we are still at the ancient site of Siustani or Silustani, coming up to what's left of another one of the big Chulpa towers, not as big as the others we've seen. Again, you see massive cracks, which would not have been the result simply of the uh, thing settling. And here we have three of the smaller ones. Again, these were made after the big ones were, uh, which is counter to what standard academics say. So this will give us the classic example here. Here we have what's left. Uh, one of the big towers on the left hand side. The interior has collapsed. And then on the right, one of the inferior smaller ones, which also shows signs of degradation over time. 